Monday blessings, Monday blessings, Monday blessings. Yes, we are having Monday blessings today. Well, I hope your Sunday was blessed on yesterday, and I'm so sorry that I did not get to upload um, a word for you, but I have something for your Monday, and this is going to help you for your entire week, the rest of your month, and the rest of your year, which is going by so quick. So let's get into it. Okay, I hope you have out your Bible or your device. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 26, verse 40. Can't you stay awake with me for just one hour? The title of the sermon note is Prepare Through Prayer. Prepare Through Prayer. In Gethsemane, Jesus came back and found his disciples sleeping. So he said to Peter, can't any of you stay awake with me for just one hour? Stay awake and pray that you won't be tested. You want to do what is right, but you are weak. Jesus was just hours from the cross, and he asked his disciples to pray for him. Imagine his disappointment when he found them sleeping. Perhaps they didn't get enough sleep or rest the night before. Maybe they were worn out from a hard day's work. We have all been victims of drowsiness, so we shouldn't be surprised that they fell asleep, but we are. We're shocked because it was such an important night. This night, more than any other, required the discipline of prayer. But the disciples missed an opportunity to encourage and strengthen Jesus in his hour of need. They missed an opportunity to strengthen themselves as well. Satan knows if he can keep you from prayer, you will be powerless. Let me say that one again. Satan knows if he can keep you from prayer, you will be powerless. Satan is the master of distraction. Think how often he has robbed you of your quiet time with God by using things like TV, the telephone, the internet, a messy house, your to-do list, your wandering mind, and your heavy eyelids. Your quiet time with God isn't something you try to fit into your schedule. It must be something you prioritize or it won't happen. The King James Version of the Bible says, pray that ye enter not into temptation. You don't know what each day holds, but through prayer and spending time in God's word, you can prepare your heart for whatever life throws at you. Let me read that one again in closing. Pray that you enter not into temptation. You don't know what each day holds. That's why I said this one today is great for today, the rest of your week, the rest of your month, the rest of your year. We don't know what each day holds, but through prayer and spending time in God's word, you can prepare your heart for whatever life throws at you. So prepare through prayer. That is so important. You know what? When I pray, I pray. As soon as God opens my eyes, while I'm still laying in my bed, I start praying before my feet even hit the, the floor. Matter of fact, I probably pray more in the bed than I do down on my knees. But once the Lord wakes me up, I pray before my feet hit the floor, and I say, thank you, Lord, that you kept me through the night. And then, um, you know, after I say my prayer, then I get down on my knees. And that's important, y'all, to get on our knees and pray um, again, you know. And then I'm praying while I'm on my way to work. I'm praying while I'm at work. I'm praying uh, on my way back home. I'm, I mean, I live a life of constant prayer. And a lot of people think that praying is just when you're down on your knees. Prayer is just you talking to God. 
That's your quiet time talking to God. And, and you can pray anywhere. That's the amazing thing. We're not limited to where or how we can pray. We're free to pray. Nobody has to even know you're praying. You could be at your job and you're saying a full-on prayer. And you're over there working away. Nobody even knows you're over there in your quiet time doing your work. But you're still praying to God. And God hears you wherever you are. You know. So take that time and prepare through prayer because we don't know what each day is going to hold. And there's so much going on right now. So pray and that's your quiet time with God. And then he'll speak to you also. You know, once you, you know, talk to him through prayer and prayer is just our communication with the Lord. He will speak back to you too. And he'll hold you from things that may come or will come to you. All right, you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, pre Prepare Through Prayer. Let's not fall asleep on it. Let's not let the internet, our cell phones, you know, cleaning house, all the things that they list and just anything that would throw us off that we say, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. So no, I'm not going to be able to pray today. Always make prayer your priority because like it says, we don't know what each day is going to hold. So we need to have our communication with the lord all right leave some comments down below and let's get that prayer in matter of fact stop and do a prayer right now uh after you listen to this program and then encourage your children your family your friends also all right i hope you have a wonderful blessed week there's going to be some powerful blessings so look out for them and if when you receive them come back to this video and let me know be blessed i love you